Hi, I'm Kim from Mosaic Tiles Australia. Today I want to show you how to make this simple sunflower with our glass petals that we've got in. Um, first of all, I've got a, a piece of MDF board which I've sealed with a mix of PVA and water, probably half to half is what I really like to use. I usually do the back and the front. Um, once it's dried, then you can start your project. We have used glass petals for the bottom here, some glass M&Ms. Um, so we've basically just glued these down with some well bond glue. We've just placed our glue in a little pile down there, spread it out with a paintbrush. And it's just a matter of placing these Probably not so much in a straight line, you want to kind of have them a little bit uneven. Make sure they are the bumpy side down, they do have a very slight ridge on the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, it's a very small ridge. But that's the underside, so make sure they go down. So you just mix your colours together. So once you fill the whole lot, it's kind of hard to do it step by step as in such a big project. Um, I have then used these petals which I've cut in half to make a nice long grass. Um, that's these ones here, I've used a mix of colours. Um, if you're fortunate enough to do glass cutting, you can use a glass cutter to score them down the middle. Just snap them with your running pliers. Or you can try and use your glass cutters. Um, get near enough into the centre as you can and then just snap down and you won't get a perfect and half cut but it'll be pretty close. And all it is a matter of just popping them in here, arranging them, I've just turned them opposite sides so they have a nice flow. We'll use that one as well, that can go there. And by mixing up the beautiful colours just gives them a little bit of texture and variety. basically just carry on from there. You can cut some of these small M&Ms like I've done here and that'll just fill in the gaps. So continue on here and you'll get this lovely little garden starting at the bottom. Uh, now then we need to start with our sunflower here. Yeah. So basically we've used large orange stained glass petals so I've basically just worked out how big I want to have the sunflower. So I want to have this sort of area covered so happens that this is probably a perfect template to use. Yep, very good. So I've just drawn around my cup or whatever you want to use, bowl, anything, as long as you don't have it too wide, but wide enough so you can make it look a nice sunflower centre. Same thing again, just paste your glue around and paint brushes to sort of spread it out a wee bit. I've used um, a range of the glass Smarty 12 mils and some of the M&Ms and the 8 mil so they're actually quite nice. Once I've got my glue down, I just arrange these, big and small, all together. And the little ones can just go in the gaps. So just carry on going around. The only thing when you do go to grout this, you need to get a cotton bud so you can fish out those little ones that might get very warm in there. So continue on. And that's the start of your sunflower. So once you've got it like this here, nice round, it's time to do your petals. I've used stained glass orange, the large petals. What I've done is I've just cut a little end off here. So it's basically just a tiny bit off here. And that just helps it to sit in a little bit close instead of having the point at the end. That would give you too much of a gap. So I've just gone around and done those. Keep them quite tight so the colour really pops when you grout it. Once that's all done and dried, I've just drawn <laughs> very easily just drawn a nice little stem and I visualise roughly where I want to have another little sunflower coming out. This is a nice easy one, I've just used the darker of the stained glass petal and I've just arranged it roughly to how I want to have them hanging down. Then I've got the small orange petal, same thing, I've cut the end off it and basically you just start arranging them from end to end. And then just carry on like this here. And it'll give you a nice drooping sunflower, which is quite pretty. Um, and then I've used lime stain, uh, lime crystal tiles, which I have just started off on my stem. So they're going to go all the way up the stem. Small gap between each one, about a two mil gap. And I'll just carry on winding that up through there. Nice and straight, of course.
and always focus on that main, your main center stem, which will carry on up through here. And then when you come to feeding off the next one, just hold your tile and imagine you're running it up here and it's coming off. So you know you need to cut a triangle shape. And then will then continue on to your next one. So always remember, just I find it's easy to follow your flow up with your tile, following it up like that. And then as soon as it comes off, you know where you need to cut, which is that angle. And it'll follow through around to there. So maybe a couple of little angle cuts might be needed here. So it's just a matter of slight angle. And that just helps it to flow around. Next one. Yeah, so make sure it's straight before you glue it. <laughs> but that's generally the idea for your sunflower. Carry on up to here, and that'll be the main part of your stem done. Um, there's two options for leaves that you can do. Um, working with stained glass is, is absolutely beautiful. It does take a little bit of practice. So I'll show you two ways. I've got um, a sheet of stained glass here, which I've cut a petal out. So as I said, it is practice. It does take a little bit. Uh, actually, I find too, a little bit of pressure on there helps with people that struggle with um, trying to get that noise. So I'm just freehand cutting roughly a leaf shape. Snappers, I'm popping them the way that I've started my score off. Back that way. So these make really nice leaves. If you want to be a little bit more different, you can also, I'll start with this one, run a line up the middle. This takes a little bit of practice because you want to make sure that when you cut them, your line's going to go that way. And when you do cut it, make sure you hang on to both ends so it doesn't flip over so you know that's going to go that way. So hold on to both ends. So the idea is you're going to get a flower, a leaf, sorry, small gap between each one, and it's going to have the grout all going between those gaps, and that's going to give it a really nice look. It's going to appear like the veins of the leaves. So really nice. And the black pen will come off when you're grouting. So that's a, a nice idea. Or keep them whole, as I've shown you. Whole's really nice as well. Or, you know, if you're starting out, there's nothing wrong with it. just using a couple of leaves together. We have different sizes as well. We've got some smaller ones, so they're always quite nice just to maybe chuck a small one in there. Yeah, so just have a wee play around. All you want to do is make it look nice and um, leafy looking with all the foliage. And that's the start of our sunflower. To finish off, I've used a stained glass royal. You can actually get a closer look at that, but with stained glass, we've got these gorgeous little pots in. Um, all random pieces. I like working with this glass. Doesn't fade outside. It is flat both sides, so you can really utilise it many ways, small sizes, whatever. Just make sure when you're cutting it up that you always have a nice straight edge at the top. Always start off with a nice clean straight edge, and you're just basically filling in. I find it's good cutting triangle type shapes. That way you can trim the edges off to fit into little areas. Um, we will put a post of this up when it's all finished, which hopefully will be tomorrow. To top it off, once it's all done, I'm going to pop some little glass ladybugs. I'm going to glue those on top. Probably put those onto your leaves, one or two ladybugs. I think that'll look stunning. So I hope that gives you some ideas. These petals are great to work with. Not only are they petals, you can visualise them as many things. Dragonfly wings, we've had a tutorial, tutorial before about them, what we've done, made butterflies and bees. So just, yeah, experiment and don't be afraid to cut them in different angles and give them a go. Alright, thank you and I'll get on to this so we can get it posted for you finished. Thank you.